Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Silver is dropping like a stone. Let's explore! As I record this video, silver is dropping. In fact, right at a dollar, twenty-one dollars and fifty-five cents now for silver. It's a, uh, it's pretty interesting to see. Gold is down slightly, but this is a lesson I think on multiple fronts, and that is that gold tends to, well, be a little more stable than silver is. The gold to silver ratio widens greatly during these massive drops, and we are seeing silver drop like a stone today based off a very strong dollar index right now and so therefore um, silver has uh, made a very volatile move to the downside how long will this last well i don't really know um, but my guess is when we see volatile moves like this means that it could certainly snap back in the opposite direction so that's encouraging for those of you that stacks silver on a regular basis, this provides an opportunity. Now that opportunity certainly could uh, wane a bit um, as the uh, price is stabilized for silver if they stay in this direction for quite a while. Over the course of the week or so, we have seen silver well stay below $23 an ounce. And uh, that is discouraging for silver stackers out there. And many times it feels like in this kind of environment, we are in a desert of sorts, a desert that seems to elude us in terms of, well, how long can we hold on? We had this silver squeeze movement go on for quite some time, and uh, it had a negligible effect. We know that there's separation between the silver spot price and the actual price of silver, that, um, and so we understand that. Many people do feel that the markets are manipulated, um, and manipulation is a very broad general term. Is there suppression? That's a manipulation to the downside that uh, some people feel uh, is based off of a cabal of multiple different uh, financial institutions working together to keep the price of silver down uh, as a conspiracy. Is there manipulation in the markets um, you know, to work based off of profit taking within institutions many people feel that that is happening we know that is happening that has been documented uh, we have uh, literal prosecutions that have occurred based off of uh, what i refer to as micro manipulation nonetheless we do tend to be in a desert as silver stackers and so therefore we must hold true we must hang on during these times so that when silver does drop like a stone, we can take advantage of buying opportunities as our budget allows. And that is the crucial key here because many of us do feel we have that much uh, literal um, faith in the metal itself as far as you know the historical record that silver holds that we know this too shall pass. And, uh, but certainly it does provide an opportunity for those who are literal ape strong, as it were. But nonetheless, it us also reminds us to have a relative view of silver because we know there will be times of volatility. We know that the markets are volatile, especially in this day and age. And when the dollar index snaps up like this, well, we know that what's gonna be hurt by it is gold and silver. And especially as of the recording of this video, silver. Things can turn on a dime or they can turn on a stone. And nonetheless, with silver dropping like a stone today, my advice is for those of you who are discouraged is to hang on, do not sell unless you need to. And of course, if you absolutely have to in these down markets, it provides, uh, a certainly can certainly exacerbate uh, your disappointment in the metal. That is understandable. That is why I encourage folks to diversify into gold and other assets, including, by the way, the dreaded fiat currency known as cash. That's right, because cash is still king, and that is certainly providing an example today, because with silver dropping like a stone, the dollar is strong.
and strong strength is measured uh, compared to other currencies that are out there. Those other currencies, by the way, are, well, they're involved in the same type of thing that's happening here. Uh, they are going wild with printing. The printing presses are up and uh, the dollar is really hanging on because other currencies around the world are suffering. We're the best of the worst. We're the cleanest shirt in the dirty laundry pile. And that will continue to be the case. So therefore, as silver drops like a stone, we will press on. Indeed. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below as these markets move intraday here. You know, things could literally turn on a dime. And by the time this video is published, well, silver could have recovered completely. And that's another thing to consider as well, too, since these markets are volatile. Usually when we have these huge drops like what we're seeing today, well, what does that mean? Is that they can just as easily and just as quickly snap back in the other direction. And uh, we have seen silver do that in the past. But <clears throat> more than likely, um, we will probably see a recovery to maybe the $22 level again in due course. But who knows? We really don't know. It's unpredictable. And for those of you who have been following along on this channel, at least since the beginning of the year, I have made a bold prediction. It's much more bold now. In fact, this is just a stone, but if it was any bigger, it would be a boulder. And I can't think of a bolder prediction right now than $30 silver, which is what I have predicted would come. Uh, I'm going to stick with that. Might as well. Uh, my advice is not you should not buy silver based off of my advice or my predictions because, well, they have been wrong before and will be wrong again. And who knows? By some miracle, by the end of this year, it could be proved right that silver could hit $30 per ounce. It's got just over an eight and a half dollar move to the upside for that to happen. So who knows if it will. And nonetheless, silver dropping like a stone today. Many silver stackers may feel like they are in the desert, but there is an oasis out there. And the oasis is the intrinsic history of silver's value over a long course of time. And that is something we can be encouraged about. So there you have it. Hang in there, folks. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to keep on keeping on stacking and holding. And rate, share, comment, and subscribe. Sometimes there is an oasis in life. You just got to wait for it to come in.